Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Kiwin Bacon here. Now, today, I decided to be on a grind to defeat the Lich King, which means that I have to play every class, and the one that I wanted to play now is uh, Priest, uh, because, well, I've heard that it's easy, and I also found a really fun deck on Heart Pond for it. It was made by Zelgraz, who made a deck that we played last week, I think was for um, Lanatel. If I'm not mistaken. Um, so we're going to be giving this a shot. The, descript the description is going to contain the deck list, of course. But there is one one thing that I changed. Um, the original deck runs a Ragnaros. Um, who says Ragnaros has to mention Major Domo, who uh, is the servant of Ragnaros. Now, to kill the Lich King, I decided to make a change just for the meme. Also, there's a special interaction that goes with it uh, i want to i wanted to play um keltuzad instead so i'm just gonna you know give the give the deck a try with that one change that's pretty much it it's big easy priest um you you, you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about but you're trying to start with barnes in your opening hand uh and just uh play it when when that happens you know you play it on turn 4, then turn 5, you're trying to have Eternal Servitude or something out to either get uh, the Lichkin, Yasharaj, or, you know, or in this case, well, you know, it would have been Ragnaros, but in this case, it's going to be uh, Keltuzad and all. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Can we draw Keltuzad? That's not what we need. We need Barnes. We're going to restart. Um, hard, like, when I mean hard mulligan for Barnes, I mean, like, actually don't try it without burns i mean there's there's no point i mean there, i mean you can try it's gonna be very difficult um so just just try to get barns you know <clears throat> this is not barns also you don't want to ever start with a minion in your hand uh it's, it's not, i mean unless it's an obsidian statue um I mean, okay. I'm going to try here, but it's not going to end very well. Because we don't have anything to play until... Never, actually. <laughs> we can't... We can't play anything. Um, okay, at least we have Shadow Essence. So we can actually... Uh, try this out. I guess. Okay. This is very annoying. Um... I'm just gonna pass. The fact that you can't actually do anything until specifically turn six makes this very difficult. Shadow Word Horror actually is pretty good because on turn five you can clear anything, on turn seven you can clear anything. That's very important. To say I'm gonna play excavate excavated evil here it's fantastic we unfortunately did draw a minion though it means that um, it gives us one of the better ones Yashraj Lich King or Kaltuzad in this case okay so Shadow Essence comes out is the Lich King which is great because now that means that when I play resurrect and eternal servitudes Okay, it gives me obliterate. Come on, dude. Resurrect into eternal servitude. Resurrect. Eternal servitude. Lich King. Get two Lich Kings. Right, this is great. I get a Frostmourne, I get a heal. That is good. Um, he gets to play his shit. I get to play Shadow Word Horror. And remove some of his stuff here. Which is fine. That's what this is here for. However, we can also play Kel'Thuzad. To force him into a never-ending loop of giving me more Lich Kings. 
Which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Death and Decay is going to be great for when we actually kill these guys. Just, just, tr just trade. What is he doing? Okay. So we can actually do this. Gonna equip a Frostmourne. Actually gonna heal myself. Don't wanna don't wanna actually trade with this because uh, it actually just makes it easier for him to kill said Keltuzad. So Okay. So we those comes out they, they they come out, they come back, you know, they're here. That's fine. All right. Shard. Shatter. Sure, shatter him. They'll just come back. <laughs> Stronger than ever. Um, and of course, here we're going to trade with 3-4. Um, so now, the best way to do this here is uh, to actually do Shadow Word Horror. Kills everything. This dies. Oh, we get bring it on. Should I play it? I think we could play it. Also, yes, another Lich King. All right, so bring it on. Not too big of a deal for me. I'm just healing myself a lot. And I think we got him here, right? That's why I wanted to play Keltus. I mean, Ragnaros is fun. You can have a bunch of Ragnaros. But Keltus just turns it into like a loop of never-ending destruction. Because you just completely defeat the purpose of your, open, uh, your opponent. <laughs> because he just... He tries to kill the, the taunt, but he can't actually do anything because it's just going to come back. Which is a lot of fun, to be honest. Um... My issue here I think I'm gonna play Death and Decay. And then I'll play wait, I'll play Death Grip. That's bad. Um and then I'm gonna play I need to kill this, right? So I can play obliterate on this. Play the knight, heal myself, and that's pretty much it. Because I don't want to put everything to one, because he has blizzards in his deck. Um, and I know he has a second blizzard somewhere. I hope he doesn't have it, but I know he has it. Okay, obliterate. It's on Keltuzad. There's the second blizzard. So we're gonna anti magic shell. Actually, I'm gonna heal this uh, just because. And then an anti magic shell. Vision, eternal servitude, just in case, so we can get another one. Or we could get the Keltuzad back again as well. Grip. Alright, and then we just smack him in the face for five. I think we got him. This generates enough value for us. Um, so there you go. All right. That is the big easy priest version of Death Knight. All right. Of, of, I mean, the, of, of the Lich King fight. So we're just going ahead. Let's just see here if we can actually get him back. There we go. Keltuzad. All right. He's back once again to destroy you. There you go. That was pretty fun. All right, so that's how you do it. If you don't have Keltuzad, just play, just play the intended deck. Just play, just play the Ragnaros. But I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty fun. That's for sure. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And uh, of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.